Look, it's like this. This movie's messed up. And I like messed up. Ready or not. Here I come. So Ready or Not is a fun, kind of funny, yet morbid thriller with dark humor. The premise is this guy and this girl, they're getting married. The girl's marrying into a very wealthy and eccentric family. They have a tradition on the wedding night. They play a game with the new bride and that's like the initiation to be in the family. What's the game? Hide and go seek. A really deadly game of hide and seek. Yeah, she hides. They find her, they kill her. Let the games begin. And this movie was great. I really dug it. The only thing that would have made this movie better is if I didn't know about the movie. Like the movie had no buzz online before I saw it. it was just just this weird little surprise that I saw. This did not have that luxury. This was like, oh, by the way, this is a really good movie. I think you'll like it because everyone loves it. It's a deadly game of hide and seek. It's cool though. It takes place in this enormous mansion. So there are a zillion places for her to actually hide in. That keeps it fun. But also these morons in this family, it's not like they do this every night. <laughs> these, these weapons are really archaic. I don't want to say too archaic, but like crossbows and axes and a couple of really old guns. It's just funny when they're like, do you have anything from this century? And there were a couple of scenes in particular that were just way too intense. The movie has more humor than I thought it would have in it. But when it wants to get down to it, it's like, all right, we're getting down to business. The intense scenes are still really intense. And I understand the humor in this movie. If this movie took itself too seriously, it would have kind of killed it for me. I don't think every movie should have humor. I think more movies have humor than should have humor. But for this movie, it did work. At a point, there was this one shtick that kept happening and I was like, in retrospect, I'm either gonna see it as brilliant or it's just gonna be that weird, awkward, out of place thing that kept happening. And in retrospect, looking back, it actually really does work for the movie. And don't recognize the lead star in this movie, but she's really good. Like when you first see her, you're like, all right, she's kind of Margot Robbie-ish. I'm looking at her IMDb. I don't really recognize her from anything. Her name's Samara Weaving. Hope to see her more stuff. And when you first see her, you're like, are her eyes CGI? She's most Eyes cut right through you. So I like the main protagonist. You're rooting for her, her husband, who's kind of caught in the middle. It's like, I want to help my new wife, but I'm kind of bound to the family. I found that compelling. But special love to Adam Brody in this movie. He's amazing. I don't want to say he made the movie, but he's the best character in the movie. He just doesn't give a shit. He's like, he's the inevitable outcome of any sane human being who's a part of this family. Like most people in this family is like they're eccentric assholes who obviously are okay with murder. He's the realist. He's grounded in reality and it broke him. Every scene with him in it, I'm like, Yes, more. At a point in the third act, I was like, you guys are really gonna need to stick the landing for me. And they did. I, th I thought it completely worked. Guys, in the end, Ready or Not was great. It was fun, it was funny, it was dark, it was messed up, it was thrilling. It did this weird balancing act. And by the end, even when it was like, okay, are you gonna work? Yep, you do. Imagination went into this movie. I really appreciate that. It's one of my favorites of the year, honestly. It was a good time but also a unique premise, or if it's not a unique premise, because we've had movies with maniacs trying to kill people in houses before and really big mansions before, it was a unique execution of this premise. I will say Ready or Not is worth watching and worth buying on Blu-ray or 4K or ultra high def, whatever. I recently upgraded to 4K that you'll see in my July journal that I'm coming out with very soon. Now I'm like, I can't go back once you see it. So do I upgrade the rating? I don't know. All right, so ready or not, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.